has been two years since this Spider-Man action figure was first released. Is it still one of the best Spidey action figures at 1 is to 12 scale? Come join me in this review and let's take a dive into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man Peter B. Parker is one of the main characters in Sony's Spider-Verse animated movies. This version is an older Peter Parker who has gone through a lot of adulting. He became a mentor figure to the younger Miles Morales and gave us a glimpse of what a hero looks like with the burden of age and the benefit of experience. Let's find out what this Spider-Man figure by Sentinel is all about. This figure comes in a black box with images of the figure on the side, front, and back. The clear part only shows the heads. There's no card insert inside although there's a booklet with instructions on how to attach the accessories and swap parts. The newspaper accessory is a cutout from the instruction booklet. Out of the box, it feels solid and the weight feels balanced. The paint finish has a nice texture and the material doesn't feel cheap. He has a total of four extra head accessories. The first one is a Spider-Man head with wider eyes and it's nicely detailed at every angle and connects to the body with a blue ball joint. He has a Peter B. Parker head with mask off, which has a confused or curious facial expression. I like the hair details at the front but not much on the sides and back. The second expression has pointy lips and I think this would fit a lot of scenarios for photography. The fourth head belongs to the younger Spider-Man from Miles Morales' universe. He has blonde hair and blue eyes but has the same hairstyle as the older Peter B. Parker. For the extra body parts, we have the slimmer and fitter abdomen which can be swapped to replace the flabby torso of the older Spider-Man. The groin and bum part is also smaller and fits better on the smaller abs. Aside from the relaxed opened hands he already has on, he has a pair of fully opened hands opened hands for wall crawling, web holding hands, and closed fists. He has a right hand holding a white mug, and a pair of bare hands with separate poses. Lastly, he has a pair of web shooting hands. He has a small eyeglasses accessory which can be a bit fragile. It's pretty useful so make sure you don't break or lose it. For the webs, you have a pair of web swingers which plugs into the closed hands with holes. The other pair is a three-angled web shot that would look nice in action poses. This action figure comes with a black stand and holder that has a mechanical panel lining. The amount of accessories is good and there are lots of options for various poses. Spider-Man Peter B. Parker's proportions were taken out of the Into the Spider-Verse animated film, so he is a bit lanky and tall, somewhat similar to the amazing Spider-Man portrayed by Andrew Garfield in the live-action films. His whole body has a satin finish 
with the exception of his eyes and the black spider emblem on his chest, which are both glossy. The web markings on his costume is not just painted in, but also engraved in his suit. The suit is made to look like fabric and all these design elements add to the texture and overall feel of this figure. The detail is consistent all throughout with very minimal paint bleed, and even the panel lining on the web design is clean. I have no complaints with regards to the sculpt and exposed joints, and at first glance I'm already enjoying this figure. Starting with the head, this figure has a full head rotation, can swivel side to side with a ball joint, and the neck rotates as well. He can look up this much, and has a good articulation looking down. You can lift his arm sideways to make a T-pose. He has a bit of butterfly motion on the shoulders with full 360 degrees rotation. Biceps have full rotation, and arms can bend almost 180 degrees, and that's just mind-blowing! Here's how it looks at the back. His hands have a swivel joint similar to SH figure arts and can rotate 360 degrees as well. His torso can bend sideways considerably, and has a full rotation on the upper torso and the abdomen part. He can bend back this much, and this much forward which is a lot. Just be aware though that friction between the parts can cause damage to the paint. He has awesome hip swivel, and he can do a full split sideways with good forward and back leg swings. You can notice an indentation at the back of his thighs that accommodates his legs and that enables this figure to have a knee bend that's almost 180 degrees. His feet have swivel and a full rotation, and can pivot nicely depending on the orientation of the joint. Lastly, there's a nice toe bend with tight joints. A Japanese sitting position is easy for this figure. To swap the heads, simply pop it out and attach the other head. To change the torso part, you have to disconnect the ties from the joints. Here you can see the difference between the two abdomen parts better. Use the slimmer parts in conjunction with each other and pop the legs back in. Spider-Man Peter B. Parker stands at 16 centimeters, which makes him 6 feet and 3 inches tall in real life. In the comic books, Peter Parker is usually 5 feet 6 inches, so this guy is definitely taller. Here's how he stands with SH Figure Arts Bruce Lee and Spider-Man 2099. Compared with other Chinese brands, here's how tall he is compared to Blade Master Wing and Red Demon Asura. Here's how he looks with some Neko Figmas, with Ronin on the left and Hemet Nettle on his right. Let's add more Figmas into the frame. The quality is on par if not better than most figure lines. Overall, I think he scales well with other 1 is to 12 scale figures from other brands. Sentinel's Spider Man Peter B. Parker offers a lot in terms of playability. The amount of heads and facial expressions this figure has makes it easy to pose with other figures. Swapping heads is easy, and the eyeglasses add a lot of value despite its size. 
Together with the option parts, you can customize this figure based on your preference. The round belly has its charm but for taking photos, I think I'll be sticking with the slimmer, muscular abs. The proportions are consistent with the movie and the overall sculpt makes a nice silhouette whichever pose you make. There's almost no awkward or obvious gaps on its shape even in extreme positions, which leads us to this figure's greatest strength, articulation. The elbow and knee bends are beyond usual for figures of this scale. Paired with an amazing ab crunch and torso articulation, it's easy to make very dynamic and realistic poses. Despite having no thigh swivel, the hip joint is enough to recreate various sitting and kneeling positions. My only worry is that swapping the abdomen and butt parts risks damaging and breaking the hip joints, so make sure you heat up the joints first before swapping and try to avoid doing it as much as you can. The amount of accessories is almost too much, but everything has been useful so far. What I don't like is the black stand that came with it. It breaks the continuity of the colors when you use it for action poses and the clear stand would be a lot better. This Spider-Man action figure hits all the right spots from detail and paint finish, the amount of facial expressions, and especially the articulation. He has more range of movement than majority of the existing brands and figure lines out there. The higher price point is worth it and I'd definitely look out for other figures by Sentinel. This is certainly one of the best Spider-Man action figures in 1 to 12 scale. If you're getting just one Spider-Man for yourself, it might as well be this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and share to help me reach a wider audience. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments what you like to see on this channel. My name's Al, and I'll see you on the next one.